Hey everybody, it's Pastor Hugo. Thanks for joining us for this week's devotion. We are starting something new today. We're going to spend the summer in Mark's gospel. We'll read about a chapter a week. This week we're doing just chapter one and uh, just we'll kind of look at it, examine it. Um, and then on Sunday mornings, we'll get together and talk about it either in the fellowship hall or on Zoom. Anybody who wants to can join us for that. But Mark chapter one is where we are. And we're calling this, uh, this whole summer, we're calling it Resting and Growing in Mark. And uh, we will get there, but Mark doesn't start out resting. Mark starts out running. Uh, the very first verse, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. No, no Christmas, no angels, no shepherds, no Joseph, no Mary. Uh, G uh, Mark starts with Jesus 30 years old beginning his very active ministry. He does a couple of verses of Isaiah, Old Testament prophecy to talk about John the Baptist, a few verses on the baptism of Jesus, then the two verses on the temptation only, and then it goes right into this very active, busy ministry of Jesus. Um, and I, one of the things I want you to notice as you as you look at, as you read Mark this week, is how many times you see the word immediately after Jesus is baptized, we're told the Spirit immediately leads him out into the wilderness to be tempted. When, G when Jesus calls James and John and Peter and Andrew, they follow immediately. When Jesus goes into the new town, he immediately goes into the synagogue. And when it's time to leave, he leaves immediately. I don't want us to apply that to our lives a little bit. Um, a lot of our lives is spent waiting we do a lot of putting off, a lot of procrastinating, a lot of wait and see. And certainly at times that is judicious and wise, but there's a lot of things we just put off that we need to be doing immediately. And I want you to think about that. I want you to think about things going on in your family. I want you to think about your own relationship with the Lord. Um, your your needing to be in Bible study. I want you to think about what's going on at work. What's going on with your neighbors? What are those things that you need to be doing immediately? that tend to get put off or waiting for a better time and then spend some time this week doing those things that need to be done immediately. We'll get together Sunday morning, talk about it more. Uh, send me an email if you'd like to have a Zoom invite or join us at 830 in the Fellowship Hall. Have a great week.